belated video here, YouTube subscribers. This is just um, an update after we went uh, over from Dover to Calais to France and Belgium to test out a larger motor home from RT5 uh, in plans for doing a Volkswagen Crafter conversion. So we have set sail from Dover and we're on our way to Calais and the van is securely below deck. We're going to get some food. See you soon. Well, we made it to France, didn't we, Luca? And Luca's busy watching open season, isn't he? So we're just on the way to Guines, which is the campsite we're staying at for three nights. And we should be there in about 10, 15 minutes. In one mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Route de Saint Marguerite. Route de Saint Marguerite. Um, ferry crossing was very quick. Pie and mash, and some burger and some goujons. Um, weather's lovely, and uh, we'll see you when we've uh, pitched up. Good uh, day, YouTubers. Uh, just a quick uh, check in. I'm going to uh, upload this short video just as a, a quick summary on the uh, Auto Trail Tribute 669 that we've um, we hired for a trip to France and Belgium. Uh, we currently have our long wheelbase uh, Volkswagen T5 that's been converted. That's up for sale. Uh, we'll put some links uh, later to the um, the van and uh, also. Uh, we'll be posting some more videos about the uh, the trip and our thoughts on the Auto Trail 669. We've hired it um, pretty much as a, um, a reconnaissance mission, if you like, to try and find out um, how well the layout works, because we are going to be doing a Volkswagen Crafter long wheelbase conversion, um, which will give us an extra kind of uh, 90 centimetres length on the um, on this Fiat Ducato based uh, body. This, this is a uh, 5.99 metres long and the long wheelbase craft is going to be um, 6.9 uh, meters long so um, kind of an extra meter 90 centimeters to a meter or so uh, extra length which will give us extra space to have a, a sort of separate garage in the back area to put bikes and things like that uh, and not have to be worrying about getting them out when you want to sleep uh, and then have a, a bunk kind of set up um, which kind of this has but obviously with a little bit more space up top so I'll just give you a quick tour of the uh, van. So I'm sat up in one of the uh, captain chairs, which is a, a swivel, and you have a, another one there. And if we kind of spin round, we have behind me the kitchen area, sink and cooker. Down below, we have a um, triplex oven and three ring hob. Uh, we then have in here, I'll flick the light on, a um, shower and a toilet and a very funky um, sink in here actually. If we flick this down, we can uh, open this up. The sink actually folds down so when the water comes in and you tip it away, there's no plug so that just literally tips away when you don't want it so it's very useful so a quick flick around here I'm just going to quickly show you it has a, uh, a double bunk so we've got a, a vent up the top and a window um, a bed at the top and a bed at the bottom so you've got two doubles um, plenty of space in there and we have the uh, bridge down here so it's all a little bit uh, tight to manoeuvre around there. It's one of the things we're going to um, going to do. You've got cupboards up top and cupboards up top there and storage up above the cab. Um, but one of the things we're going to do is have a little bit more space in the back. So we'll just pop outside here. You can see we've got the Fiamma canopy, which is really nice. And also the table and that and chairs outside. Uh, nice enough looking van. Actually drives... Um, very well 
Uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit noisier. Some of the reviews I've seen have uh, said that the uh, the van's a little bit noisy, um, but engine-wise, it's not it's not uh, it's not noisy from a an engine perspective, if that makes sense. Um, more uh, noise from kind of rattles and things like that. These side windows above me here kind of open out on a kind of a, a pivot like that pivot like that sorry uh, which is useful to get a bit of air in they've got uh, like a fly screen and a, uh, a blind which is useful which i like the problem with them is is they can be a little bit rattly when driving and also some of the kind of pop-up tables there's a little table just kind of here in the background that pops out of the side so you've got a little bit of an extra working top worktop space and that does rattle a little bit so we my good friend John and his family at uh, Dunkirk Beach. There's the little one in there at the sea. You alright, Luca? Wave. <laughs> Who's up? Um, where's my friend? Oh, there's my friend. In the water with his uh, knees up, <laughs> his chest above his knees. Who well, would have thought that we'd. Uh, be in the same place as a friend I haven't seen for 12 years from school and used to be in a band with him and what have you but uh, here we are at Dunkirk on such a lovely day and we'll catch up with you again soon. Go. Go. Oh that was a proper one. <laughs> Stand up and cheer, Luca. You won. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you doing a video yep. photo? Video. Ready? It might be. Come on. Oh, that one. Over my head. <laughs> <laughs> So keep a look out, uh, like and subscribe for updates on when the new Crafter Medium Wheelbase is going to arrive. Uh, it was due to be finished build week 8 of this month, which was mid-Feb. It's now gone back a little bit, so it's probably going to be end of March. <laughs>